Здравствуйте, граждане Соединенных Штатов. В последние несколько лет стало ясно, что CNN превратилась в фальшивую новостную сеть. Во время выборов в 2016 году их освещение было настолько односторонним, что сеть часто дублировала новостную ленту Клинтон. Это было очевидно, что CNN не было чем-то большим, чем просто пропагандистским крылом демократической партии. Многие сомневались, что канал снова станет надежным. К сожалению, несмотря на предвыборный сезон, ничего не изменилось. Возможно, все даже ухудшилось. После того, как Дональд Трамп выиграл выборы, CNN усилила негативное освещение нового президента. Это получилось настолько хорошо, что в одном из недавних исследований было установлено, что 93% новостного охвата CNN о президенте Трампе были отрицательными. Очевидно, что реальная журналистика мертва в CNN. В этот момент CNN сделает все, что потребуется, чтобы ввести в заблуждение своих зрителей. В последнем примере основатель Викиликс Джулиан Ассанж поймал CNN на еще одной лжи. К счастью, он записал эту ложь в Твиттере, сняв скриншот своей беседы с CNN. Сеть добралась до Ассанжа, чтобы узнать, согласится ли он принять приглашение ведущего шоу на Fox News Шона Хеннити принять участие в его шоу. Ассанж ответил, что нужно проработать логистику, а прояснить вопросы можно в Твиттере. Однако, когда CNN рассказывала историю, они подменяли и перекручивали слова так, чтобы они соответствовали их повествованию. Это может казаться небольшой разницей, но конкретная формулировка имеет важное значение, когда одна из ведущих сетей толкает предвыборную кампанию, мешая ее с заговором. CNN изменила формулировку, соответствующую их линии, заявив, что Ассанжу не разрешается вмешиваться в политику других стран, поддерживая идею о том, что Викиликс работает с Россией, чтобы им вмешиваться в американские выборы. На самом деле Ассанж сказал, что ему запрещено говорить о политике. И все. Подмена – это всего лишь самый последний пример в длинном списке журналистской халатности со стороны CNN. Сеть настолько поглощена – разгоняя повестку дня, что они даже подбирают цитаты, чтобы заставить их подтверждать свою историю, которую они пытаются рассказать. На этот раз сеть вырезала часть интервью президента России, и это показывает, что когда Дональд Трамп назвал CNN большими новостями, он был прав на 100%. Мы анонимы. And when I say fake news, I mean stories that are designed to trick people into believing lies. Deception 101. I see three buckets of them. Number one, total hoax sites with totally made up news solely trying to trick you. Also interesting is remember, it's illegal to possess uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. Maria says that uh, Mr. Trump's work over 40 years and the women that he's employed don't have any ramifications. Well, then let's look at Hillary Clinton's job as a defense attorney where she defended a rapist and accused a 12-year-old girl of seeking an that older man out to have sex. That that I'm glad you brought that up because, because the, the accusation from Donald Trump and from the surrogates by political fact has been rated yes. completely false. Absolutely. The claim is exactly. completely false. She never, she never she laughed, laughed at, at the young lady. At her. Here's Hillary in her own words laughing about how she helped get this convicted child rapist a reduced sentence. Instead, you raped the 12-year-old. Of course, he claimed that he did The PolitiFact and all the fact checks show that your claim, meaning a surrogate, not you specifically, and Donald Trump is false. false. And if you want to, you can look at it. You know, I should say, some of America's uh, finest black journalists are here tonight. Um, Don Lemon's here, too. Um. Hey, Don, how's it going? Alleged journalist Don Lemon, everybody. I won't lie. Look, this is a tough transition. It's hard. Key staff are now starting to leave the White House. Even reporters have left me. Savannah Guthrie, she's left the White House press corps to host the Today Show. Nora O'Donnell left the briefing room to host CBS This Morning. Jake Tapper left journalism to join CNN. Ha! Got him! 
Not can you. you give us a chance? Your you're, you are attacking our news organization. Can, organization. can you give us a chance Let's to ask go. a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state, can, Mr. President-elect, can she's, you state categorically, Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? You're rude. attacking us. Thank can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give us a question? I'm not going to give you a can question. Can you state categorically? You are fake news. Sir, can you state? Do you think, as a member of the Homeland Security Committee, it is necessary for the security of this country to put this ban in place? Uh, I do think that I do think that it's important for, for our security, and I think the people overwhelmingly in the country want that as well too. Because again, just today the FBI comes out and says that 30 percent, 30 percent of their domestic terrorism cases that they are investigating are from folks who are refugees. It's important not to label all refugees bad people. I, I, that's not why I'm here. But up. <laughs> Boy, did I almost look stupid. <laughs> Charles Jaco, CNN, reporting live from Saudi Arabia. Remember, Hillary Clinton has some vulnerabilities herself, even as she calls for criminal justice reform because of her support in the 1990s for anti-crime legislation that ultimately helped contribute to this era of mass incarceration that she now uh, speaks out uh, again. Uh -oh. uh, we just lost, uh, we just lost Brianna Keeler. When it comes to television news, we have a divided media landscape. Okay, Fox News is watched by conservatives. MSC is watched by liberals. And CNN is watched by the people who clean the offices at CNN. <laughs> CNN's ratings are so low, now when the logo comes up, James Earl Jones says, you're watching CNN? <laughs> what the hell? I haven't seen that. I'll look at that. He says he knows nothing about it, hasn't seen any of these reports. Um, is that a problem? Well, I don't know. Maybe he was watching CNN fake news. What do you think? You don't that was buy. A joke. I, I know it was a joke. I'm saying you you don't um, you don't buy what he said. Obviously. Aaron. Yes. I'm sorry, Senator. I'm saying you obviously don't buy what he said. You you, you believe that that he has seen these reports. I mean, to your Kevin, point. Kevin, I'm not. Oh, are, are we on? Uh, it looks like we've lost connection with Senator Sanders, so let's just try to get that back up. What if it was hijacking or terrorism or mechanical failure or pilot error, but what if it was something fully that we don't really understand? A lot of people have been asking about, about black holes and on and on and on and all of these conspiracy theories. Let's look at this. Uh, Noah says, what else can you think about? Black hole, Bermuda Triangle. And then Deji says, huh, just like the movie Lost. And of course, it's also, they're also referencing the Twilight Zone, which has a very similar plot. We've seen this administration stacking the deck uh, with friendlier news outlets. And when I say friendlier, what I mean are uh, news outlets that have a point of view, in some cases are openly rooting for the president. Uh, we don't see CNN or the New York Times rooting for any president. Oh, really? Because the donors are giving her money thinking she's going to run. That means they're not going to have available money for other exactly. candidates if she doesn't. And I don't think she's going to give it to them. She's on her way. To deciding. We'll see. About deciding. We couldn't help her any more than we have. <laughs> I know. You know what I mean? She's, she's I got know. just a free ride so far from the media. We're the biggest ones promoting her campaign, so it better happen. Uh, we don't see CNN or the New York Times rooting for any president. Hillary Clinton blamed the victim. Number 101 when you're dealing with rape cases, don't blame the victim. She blamed a 12 year old girl, a sixth grade 12 year old girl, of seeking the attention of older men and fantasizing about being with older men. There is audio. Wait, we, we haven't corroborated any of this. So so, I mean, I, I just think you should be very... It's I mean, widely reported. Not being, it's well, widely wi reported. Widely reported. So is the National Enquirer widely reported. We, we, we can go... Mean anything. Not, can... It's not on this network, I would point out. To be honest about it, I don't think our founding fathers had these automatic weapons and military-style weapons in mind when the Second Amendment was drafted, when are, the Constitution implying, was drafted. So I, are you implying for the police or are you implying for the private citizen? Because the majority of private citizens are not allowed to own fully automatic weapons. It's for anyone. Okay, well, the gun law says that you and I can't just randomly go out and buy an automatic weapon. So let's deal with the facts here. A semi-automatic weapon is a gun that you and I are allowed to own. And in different places, they have different rules. But to imply that anyone can walk out and buy an automatic weapon is just not true, Don. We are, we are. Straight up, 
There is a vapor trail coming from my right to my left, and there's a cloud of uh, something. It looks like it might have been an explosion, a cloud. Uh, a white say. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, did I almost look stupid. <laughs> but I think number three is the most dangerous kind. These are the hybrids because they purposely mix a little bit of fact and then a lot of fiction. With his sister calling for peace. Don't bring the violence here and the ignorance here. Milwaukee police say they made multiple arrests overnight. <laughs> with his sister calling for peace. Don't bring the violence here and the ignorance here. Don't burn it down shit we need in our community. Take that shit to the suburbs. Exactly. We need our shit. Don't want to hurt somebody. Take that shit further out. Don't bring it here. Don't bring the violence here and the ignorance here. With his sister calling for peace. We were just talking, as you were watching the piece, the, these young men um, saying they're, they're converting to Islam, they want to wage this war, and you were almost rolling your eyes. Well, I was rolling my eyes. Look, this is, all this stuff about the Quran and about Islam from those kinds of guys, it's crap. Almost all terrorists in fact, uh, has shared certain things in common. And that doesn't, Islam is not one of the things they share. Hmm. It was true of some in the Irish Republican Army. It's been true with Central America. It's been true in lots if, of... If we can't discriminate between serious arguments and propaganda, then we have problems. Now, they didn't put that down. You know what they did? Crooked CNN. CNN is so disgusting. CNN. Oh! Look, their camera just shut off. <laughs> their camera just went off.